You think say it's Sabi Niger music? Old school or new school? Come show yourself for Gusto gets the song. You go win better, better. Call the number where they appear for your screen. So, Niger music, come win money. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto News on Gusto TV. My name is Ifeo Lewa and today on the news I've got Davido Yes Davido has set another record for not just Nigerian artists but African artists. Yes, and as well closely followed in this news is um yeah the plantation boys like we used to know them. There was a reunion over the weekend and this got social media and everyone happy. Yeah, rounding up the news um with Spirizi uh sending apology for you know being called out on social media for something that happened um during the weekend but of course before I go on to say thank you to you guys for all you do for us likes comment telling people about gusto tv and if you're new to this channel please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell starting off with david o of a lot of milestones that have been reached by nigerian artists year in year out day in day out I mean, 2021 has seen a whole lot of them that makes you proud of, you know, these guys and what they represent. Of course, we know at the beginning of the year, Davido's Fall became one of the, not the most sold Afrobeat song of all times. We also saw Bonner Boy and Whiskey won at the Grammy Award. Whiskey as well, Essence got, you know, into the Billboard Hot 100. A whole lot has been happening around this top guys in the Nigerian music industry, especially in the international space. Well, one of these is actually another milestone that has been reached by David Doe. Um, he's been one of the first, yes, not just first Nigerian artist, but the first African artist to hit the Golden Spike hitter. Yes, this is actually, uh, this happened at Atlanta. Yes, and of course, um, it's, uh, it's supposed to be at the Mercedes-Benz um, Stadium. Yes, and there David Doe was seen with the crowd, the excitement, and of course, he hit um the spike here yeah, and that was actually like the start of the game you know the start of atlanta um um football competition that they were having and of course they also went on on their twitter page atlanta united fc says atlanta born nigeria made afrobeat artist as davido is your golden spike hitter because davido has done that the first time african artist to hit the spike for um, the start of Atlanta um, competition at um, the Mercedes Benz um, Stadium. Congratulations to David We're proud of him, yes. And of course, that's to tell that, you know, it's been loved and been celebrated outside the shows of Nigeria. Moving on to the next on this one is, of course, um, one of the events that's got a lot of people talking lately. Everybody has been sending in tribute, you know, for, you know, Sound Sultan who passed on a couple of weeks ago and um, went on to hold a memorial like kind of tribute for him during the weekend we saw if you know the cream the la cream of the nigerian music industries and players we saw you know even the entertainment industry saw a lot of tribute from a whole lot of uh, people in nigeria talking about him and the program was tied to the eighth wonder which of course was his last album and you know one of the major events that took place at this tribute um that was done for um, Sound Sultan was actually the fact that the Plantation Boys, as we used to know them to be, were actually on stage together to sing. Well, this is John Appen because, um, you know, where everybody was coming out for the tribute and all, Baba D, who happens to be a brother to the deceased, you know, came out and while giving tribute to his brother, called out to Baba Face and, you know, Black Face, called them up on stage. He also called all the people who knew them before they become you know whatever they are today and of course encouraging them about the fact that look life is a fleet you know just within a couple of seconds it can you know just end and said that that is what sound sultan has always pushed for he has always wants the guys to put whatever happened behind them and of course there and then the guys were made to hug each other they were made to bury their assets and of course they made a very interesting and of course quite um, emotional um, performance one of their songs which was like hit song as at the time and yes um in tribute to sound Sultan, they were able to bury the artist this has got social media very excited as everybody knew abu dreamt of a day that even if those guys 
do not come back together as a team or a, you know a group but them being able to put their assets behind them and you know relate well and that is what you know the tribute to sam Fulton has been able to do of course when people die it's just a reminder that look every other person is going to live here someday rounding off this with parisi yes during the weekend the video made its way online and according to sources different sources on you know social media said um he was invited for an event in Oshobo, Oshun State and um he came in late and said they've waited all night till about 4 30 before Perizzi came in and he did apologize he just stormed out and a lot we're seeing a lot of people calling him out to apologize to you know apologize for what he has done that some people paid to be there and he wouldn't just you know some say they don't want to do that and all of that yes in between all that um Perizzi actually i guess he's he giving it a second thought and felt like um he deserves he needs yes to apologize to the people who were present for the event they put up a post where he actually said my sincere apologies to the real fans in Oshogo who came out for me I really came out for you all before my team agreed to club events they were notified that we had a show in Lagos same day and say we would leave after the show which we did and they agreed the show was going great still as the fans were happy to see me no hype man should stop any performance for no reason we got videos of how lit you all was already and how amazing it would have been. So we got to do it again. Okay, so probably he's just going to be visiting, you know, Shogu again to be able to make up for those days. Yes, and as well, he has given his reasons, talking about the fact that he had shows in Lagos and the organizers were already aware about this one. But of course, it's actually good to know that, you know, um, he's able to reach out to apologize to fans, of course. Who are you without the fans yeah so yes Paris has come out to apologize I hope everybody on social media stop the dragging yes so sorry and of course he said he will make it up to them yes yeah? so this is the end of this particular news if you're new to this channel please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell and yes and you can tell us in the comment section how proud are you david oh yes has done it to the you know spike heater atlanta the you know prestigious messages brand stadium and of course yes you can see the plantation boys are together again what do you think of all that yes and paris's apology do you think is what is right for him to do at this point in time and of course i'll see you on the next news bye